Gele sai tu shakala hataya. Shandala se tola shiko tabata. Father, we thank you that this Nairobi is your city. We thank you, Lord, that you said it would become a great metropolis. We thank you that from 24 years ago, you spoke through this voice about new things happening in Kenya, new governments, new all kinds of things. And Father, I believe in this day that you're going to work everything out that needs to be worked out. Let's pray with, uh, in faith for that right now. Father, let the gift of faith come on everybody under the sound of, the, of our voice. The gift of faith to believe for big things, to believe for great breakthroughs. Let the spirit of wisdom come upon people. The spirit of knowledge and understanding and counsel and might and power in the fear of the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for power and riches and wisdom and strength and glory, honor, and blessing. That your vision, what you've ordained, can come to pass. We thank you, Lord, that you're causing people to be prepared for the greatest season they've ever known. We thank you, Lord, for the revival that's come forth in this land. I I'm glad the Holy Ghost has had me just, the anointing is here to pray right now. Thank God for the word that's gone forth. I was rejoicing. I felt relieved. I thought, wow, the people have been blessed by the word. We don't have to do that. Thank God for the servant of the Lord. Thank God for that word. God has been preparing things. And the Lord says, my people, do you not know that I am not a liar? I am not one who speaks something and then does not yet cause it to come to pass. Have I not even used my own word to break the rocks into pieces like a hammer? Have I, have I spoken and then will I not bring it to pass? Will I be like a, a delivering mother and cause the birth not to happen? Lift your hands. The promises that have come. Yeah, Lord. Oh, I feel the anointing. The things that God has promised, they were not lies. They were not stories. And no things took a long time. Many times the Lord says it's not in vain. And Father, we thank you that every evil doer, every evil thing is being crushed. Let the worst parts of us begin to die in your presence. Let the best parts of us begin to come alive now. And we thank you, Lord, for the victory and the breakthrough. And those that you've ordained will run through the clouds. They'll run through the smoke. They'll run through the fire. They'll run through the floods, like you said in Isaiah 43, 2. And they'll not be burned. They'll not be drowned. They'll not be. And like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, how they were in the fiery furnace, but they were not even touched, even with a, a singe of smoke. Never mind the flames. And those that were outside the flames, they died, but those ones stayed there because the Lord was with them. The Lord says, I protected you, my sons, my daughters, through many trials and tribulations. And the Lord says, but now will I not bring this thing to pass? Will I not cause the birth to happen? Will I not cause the breakthrough to come forth? The Lord says about your government, don't speak ill. Pray, prophesy, declare something you see that you think should be changed or should be done differently. Pray about it. Pray about it. Take authority as the church. Let me tell you something. The, the Roman Empire tried to stop the church. The Chancellor of Russia tried to uh, curse the, ch the church of Jesus Christ. He died, but the church lived on. There's nobody that can destroy the church. There's nobody that can uh, oppress the church. And all these things that are being talked about, we nullify them and cancel them in the name of Jesus. The church will not be oppressed. The church will not be taxed. The church will not be regulated. The church is its own entity under the hand of God. Clap your hands if you believe this word. The church will not be touched by the hands of flesh and men. The Lord says, get ready to see now my doings. Have I not done many things before? The Roman Empire was so great. The Greek Empire, where are they today? The Ottoman Empire, all the old moves of old. Alexander the Great and all these Genghis Khan conquerors and warriors. Where are they today? Where are they? Where, where is their empire? Where is it? Does it exist? But the church is still here. The devil cannot do what he wants on the earth while the church 
is standing strong. And many have caved in. I pray for you right now. Stretch your hands out this way toward this altar. We make this an altar. Right here in the heart of the city. What a great place. Thank you, Father. The heart of the CBD. This city is yours. It's ours. I remember the scripture in Judges 6.16. Uh, uh, Joshua also, shout, 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 for the Lord has given you the city. And the Lord says, many of you have caved into problems and despair of outside circumstances. But the Lord says, now I'm going to make you a happy people. Happiness depends on good happenings. And joy and peace is the gifts of the Spirit from the Lord. <laughs> but happiness is based on good happenings. And the Lord says, this is the day now when these things are going to come forth. Stretch your hands up to God right now. Receive the touch of heaven. New strength. I prophesy villages and towns, communities and churches. Some of you are meeting in places, little places, but the Lord says you're going to break out on every side. And the church is going to get an amplification of a voice. But I prophesy a restraining order against every work of men that's not of the Spirit of God. The pride of man will be brought low, as we heard in the message by the Holy Ghost. The pride, people that want to exalt themselves, they'll be put down. We put a restraining order out against those that want to do their own agendas that are not the agendas of God. But the one who's been made, as we also heard in the word, on the backside of the desert, through every kind of trial, through every desert and every wilderness, you've walked through and not been burned. You've not been consumed. You're still here today because of the grace of God. And your heart is broken for the move of God. Let me tell you, that's the one who God's going to raise up. A one with a humble heart and a contrite spirit. Isaiah 57, 15 says, I look for one who's humble, whose heart is perfect toward me. My eyes will go to and fro, says the Lord, over millions of people to find one person whose heart is perfect toward me. Gideon was there. He didn't feel like a mighty man, but the angel was sent to tell him he was. Mary was there. She didn't know she would conceive of the Holy Ghost, the Savior. Look at the men that God shows. Abram was in his father Terah's house. We see in Genesis 12:1, and God said, get out of there and I'll bless you. And he became very rich as he began to obey God. Look at uh, Elijah, came from the Tishbites, for out of nowhere, just appeared, but he had been with God. Look at little David. Look at little David, the rejected one. When Samuel came to look for the next prophet, he went through all the sons and said, I don't feel a witness on any of these ones. Jesse, dad, papa of these boys, do you have another son? And surely Jesse said, oh, my God, it can't be David, but it was. Rejected of men, chosen of God. The Lord says the chief cornerstone is Jesus Christ, and he's going to lay his foundation on apostles and prophets. Let me tell you something else. Get rid of all this title business, like I'm a bishop, but you have three people in your church. Bishop of what? I'm a, everybody's an apostle. Everybody's a prophet. Really? Prove it. Prove it. Let yourself be open to speculation and uh, analysis. And say, where's the proof of your ministry? Where's the Holy Ghost? What did he do through you? Where's your, what's your resume? What's your curriculum vitality? What is it? Show me. Show me. God says, I'll promote you. The Lord says, prayer, prayer alone doesn't promote a man or a woman. But management does. Manage your life well. And God says, you'll come into the realms of promotion. And the Lord says, concerning the powers that be everywhere in the land and beyond, I set up kings and I take down others. The Lord says, leave that with me and you serve me. Lift your hands and take the hand of God as if, as if he's coming himself <laughs> and putting his hand in your hand and saying, come, let's go, let's go. God is a mover. He doesn't stay in one place. He always wants to go somewhere else. The man or woman that's full of vision, they don't want to sleep much. They want to get up in the morning and go somewhere and do something. And I prophesy as God's servant, God's going to open doors for you. Lift your hands. New doors, new friends, new favor, new arenas, new churches, new businesses, new 
uh, resources, new equipment, new land, new properties, every kind of thing you need and want to make this thing a reality, the vision that God's given to you to fulfill. The Lord says, leave the works of others to them and you concern yourself with me. I'm reminded of the woman in the Song of Solomon, chapter 1. She said, I'm this dark woman, an African woman, evidently. Dark skinned, yes. Dark and lovely lo a lady, she was there. She said, they've made me a worker. They've made me a keeper of the vineyards. And I've worked hard, but my own vineyard I've not kept. This was a statement of wisdom. The Lord says, this is the day when you need to work on yourself. The best investment is yourself. Lift your hands. Study to show yourself approved. Timothy, Paul told Timothy, doctrine is the word of God. I give you good doctrine. Solomon uh, said in Proverbs 4, hear the instruction of a father. For I give you good law, good doctrine. Follow it and you'll live. Embrace me, wisdom said, and you'll have great life. And I'll promote you. Favor and riches and honor comes to the one that's filled with wisdom. Let's pray right now in finality. Shakarente. Just pray in the Holy Ghost or just say, thank you, Lord. If you don't have a prayer language in other tongues, it's okay. Ask the Lord. He could give it to you right now. But if, whatever the case, just say, hallelujah. Father, I embrace. Whoa, I feel the Holy Ghost. Can you feel the power of God here? It's like, it's like fire on me. Shendo, lasse, tai. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, counsel, power, and might. We look at the churches and say, where's the anointing? I'm telling you, the anointing is coming back to the churches in Nairobi. The Lord says, stop your corruption. Stop your foolishness. Stop your sin. Stop your greed. Stop your stinginess. When you have a, a, a servant come, bless them financially. Honor other people. Do the will of God. And God says, I'll take you out of the place where you are and put you on a high place. The Lord says the mountaintop is always, 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 an, always has an empty spot. There's always an empty place on the mountaintop. It's said in the, in the, in the motivational teachings of the, 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 the success teachers in the world, they say, it's crowded at the bottom but lonely at the top. There's always a place in the 1%. There's always a place up there and a space for someone that can elevate themselves. The Lord says, you, stop minding the will of other people and leave them to themselves. Stop hating others because they're, maybe they're doing better than you. Stop thinking about what other people are doing and take care of you in your own house. Joshua said, Joshua 24, 15. As for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. Shandalahat. You are the project. You are the project of God. You yourself are the project of God. Yes, we're servants. Yes, we give ourselves away in abandonment to serve God. But we are responsible for ourselves. At judgment day, you're not going to answer for nobody else. You're going to stand at the beam of seat of Christ uh, and you're going to give account for your own life. Either you'll be happy or you'll be ashamed, depending on what you did. Get it right today, from this afternoon right here in the capital city of Kenya, in the heart of Africa. My God, get it right. Get it right in your own life. Stop crying about other people and issues and situations. Work on yourself. And the Lord says, I'll see your diligence and I will promote you, says the Lord. Promotion, 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 favor, blessing, honor. <sighs> it's coming. It's coming to the elect. You, you, you suffered. You've sown much. I know what it's like. You've sown much and reap little at times. The Lord says, don't worry. Give it to me for I have the harvest for you. Some things that are coming... Even the lines of things that are coming are really harvests on seeds we've sown. Sacrificial lives we've given to God. And God wants to come and empower us. Empower his people to do what he's ordained. And you need resources. God says, do I not have them? They will be made available. Lift your hands right now. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. Shariti. Sendenjene. Healing fire be upon you. Wherever you're sick, be healed.
Be healed by the Holy Ghost. The anointing is coming on people to heal them from the head to the toes. New strength, new energy, cleansing the bloodstream, touching the organs, touching the ligaments and the nerves. Someone's had tremendous pain and agitation in the systems of your physical body. The Lord says from right now, it's gone from you. Tumors and digestive problems and eyesight problems and breathing problems and internal organ problems and joint and bone problems and all kinds of issues. God says, I'm healing you right now. Receive the healing touch right now. I tell you, we need to go further into this and have some healing crusades. Can you say amen? Where real miracles will happen. But I'm telling you, before that day, that day is here right now. Somebody clap and shout. Come on, clap and shout and give Jesus a shout. Woo! Lift your hands. Say, I receive the anointing. I receive your touch, my Father. I'll stop worrying about all these other things. And I'm going to make your mission my mission. Your commission is my mission. And I'm responsible to do the work myself. And I will do it all for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. I am Thomas Manton IV. I love you. God bless you. Now, if you want to follow our teachings online, everybody take out your phone or whatever real quick or a pen. And it's very simple. Myname.com. ThomasManton.com. C-O-M. Our links are there to our YouTube channel, our Facebook, our social media, our free e-newsletter. You want to you wanna, uh, connect with the work of God? It's all, all the ways to do it are there. ThomasManton.com. T-H-O-M-A-S-M-A-N-T-O-N.com. I love you. Naku, how do you say? Nakupenda? Nakupenda? Ubatakiwe. Praise the Lord. Born as if we way. Mungu nimwema. Yes, he is. What? All the time. All the time. Yeah. How, yeah, all the time. Lift your hands. Jacate, I see you, Bishop. I see you walking around. You're circling the, the thing here. Lift your hands. One more thing. One more thing. It's just one more thing. Oh, God. Whoever rejected you is the one that's wrong, not you. Whoever hurt you and attacked you was the one who was wrong, not you. You were on the mission of God. You were doing the best you could, though nobody's perfect in this world. Except even Jesus said, don't call me good now. They said, good master. He said, don't call me good. Why? Because I'm still on the earth here with you all. Wait till I'm resurrected. Then you can worship me. Not yet. Because I'm here dealing with this human issue. Whatever anybody did to harm you, lift your hands. Say, I forgive them. I release them unto you, Lord. I'll not hold things to their charge. I let it go. I let it go. Free me today from all hatred, bitterness. Come on, pray right now. A lot of people are snared, snared by that. Lift your hands and pray. When you get free of this in the spirit, these things, you feel so happy. You feel so free. You feel like... A, a, a ton of bricks was taken off your shoulders, and you're ready to just fly. Consider the work of God. Consider what he's called you to do. One more thing. I pray, I, I schedule in the spirit. Yes, Lord, I'll do it. A visitation from the Holy Spirit personally to you when you'll just hear from God about what you're to do in this next season. Lift your hands. A personal visitation. An epiphany, a moment. I've had many visions, of, out of body visions over the years. Heaven, I've seen things. God's appear, the Lord's appeared to me many times. That kind of experience that will change the course of your life to take on his glory and power. That when you stand to speak or go anywhere to do anything, it's not you, but it's the Lord coming through you. And the results you'll see will be beyond even your imagination. Ephesians 3.20 Beyond what you could ask or think. Let's, let's wave our hands to the Lord. Say, Lord, I receive. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, I love you. I love you. love me? Do we love the King of Kings? Can, can you blow me a kiss? Come on, I want to feel some love. I mean, can we blow me a kiss? 
Whew. Thank you. Whew. One more, one more. I, need, I want to feel some love. Come on now. One more. Mwah. Oh, I love you so much. I love you. Glory to God. Let's give Jesus one right now. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet and shine and give Jesus a praise right now. Blow him a kiss. Tell him I love you, Lord. Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Soon coming King, everlasting Father, mighty God, Prince of Peace, uh, Overcomer, the Bread of Life, the Resurrection and the Life, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God bless you all. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet, as a prophet, will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed. <laughs>